as you have observed in the last, what was it, about um, one hour ago, um, some comments have been made for the first time by a presidential candidate, a presidential candidate. That's candidate John Mahama of the NDC. And the comments that he has just made and thrown out into the public domain, at this stage in the election process, have the tendency to do a number of things, to endanger public safety, to raise tensions, and even to undermine the sanctity of the ongoing process. And so the government of Ghana believes it's important to make some comments as a government. And that's why we've um, disturbed your evening. I'm sure you would have been doing your coverage and doing your analysis in your studios by now. I just want to uh, recap a few of the key comments that candidate Mahama has made this evening, which the government of Ghana believes that he needs to respond to. The first is that, as I mentioned earlier, for the first time, a candidate, a presidential candidate, is claiming that his party has gained what he describes as parliamentary majority. And then they go into some discussion about electing the speaker and a few other things, but that's a different conversation. But the point is that we have a candidate, a presidential candidate, who is now publicly making the comment that his party has secured a parliamentary majority. He's also calling on his supporters to jubilate. We clearly understand that to be a dog whistle for people to get out on the streets. That is what is transpiring here. Number three, he's also making comments to undermine the work of state institutions, including the Electoral Commission and the military. And the government needs to respond to these at this particular moment. He's also making comments aimed at attacking the work of the Ghanaian media in this election, attacking your reportage and your analysis and other things that you are doing. And we think it's important that these matters are responded to right now, especially at this time in the election. And he's making false allegations that the military of the Republic of Ghana is involved in efforts to change results and subvert the will of the Ghanaian people. <clears throat> so we will speak specifically to some of these issues, and then we will take uh, questions and respond to them. Now, first of all, the claim by candidate Mahama that his party has won parliamentary majority is false. That claim is false. Anybody who has followed Ghana's electoral process knows that they are returning officers at the 275 constituencies. That's different from the returning officer for the presidential election. These returning officers collate the results and declare, make a formal declaration of who has won the constituency. The Ghanaian media is littered across all 275 um, constituencies and their collation centers. You are the ones who are reporting this election. If indeed anybody has gained 240, uh, uh, sorry, 140 seats in parliament by now, you will know, wouldn't you know? You will clearly know. So we do not think that, first of all, any, it lies in any candidate's mouth. Yes, we understand the political parties and their campaigns throw out numbers and explain where they are in their own coalition, etc. We've seen pictures from both sides uh, 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 and press stores. But a claim by Mr. Mahama that his party has won parliamentary majority is false. You, the media, are observing at all the 275 um, coalition centers across the country. And I'm sure you yourself can confirm, as at now, that they do not have a parliamentary majority. So it is important that at this point in time, this claim be shot down. So that the Ghanaian public, some of whom may be going to bed tonight, the international community listening, doesn't start getting that idea uh, that um, Mr. Mohammed's party has won a parliamentary uh, majority. I think the figures as are being collated by the Electoral Commission and being declared are quite clear. The last one I saw the media putting out, not what we the parties are, the media putting out, was about 227 constituencies. And the details were there about who has won what. So please do not be deceived by any candidate especially candidate Mahama at this point in time that his party has won parliamentary majority. That's item number one that we need to tell the people of Ghana and the international community about. Item number two is, it's a dangerous matter. This dog whistle to supporters by the candidate that they should jubilate. And we are clear, this is a dog whistle to people to get out on the streets and jubilate. Now, first of all, we are happy that this call has largely not been heeded by the Ghanaian public. As you monitor um, the countryside, largely, this call has not been heeded. Because the Ghanaian people are discerning and can see through some of the 
you know, games on election night that candidates play. But we think it must be categorically said that it is utterly irresponsible and it flies in the face of good conduct and even the peace pact that the candidates signed a few days ahead of the election. I want to show you the true nature of some of these candidates. The peace pact that the candidates signed, um, I think President Akufuado, uh, Mr. Mahama, um, I think there were other parties that got a, a, a rep or so to sign, witnessed by the Chief Justice of the Republic. It says that you acknowledge and you commit to the following, A, that the remaining rounds of campaign sequel to the general election shall be conducted with decorum, B, that we shall monitor and keep in check the excesses of our supporters as and when they get out of line. Now you have candidates rather egging their supporters on after they have signed this peace pact, egging their supporters on to jubilate. And I'm explaining to you that nobody is a kid in this country. That is dog whistle for get out there and uh, you know, um, um, celebrate. They go on. That they hereby commit themselves and supporters to continue to conduct their campaigns in a peaceful manner, that they undertake to accept the results of the election and concede to the winner accordingly. Then they commit to um, a number of things in it. After signing this, you now have candidate Mahama himself, not his campaign or his party. Those ones, you understand the party portion. But now you have the candidate himself asking his supporters that they have a right to uh, jubilate. And like I've said to you, it's a dog whistle for asking them to go out. We want to, as a government of Ghana, strongly urge all candidates to desist from such conduct. It has the potential to raise tensions, to heighten anxiety, and most importantly, it will leave your supporters severely disappointed if and when an eventual loss is occasioned for you. And so we think that the responsible thing to do as a government at this point in time is to call it out and let the public know, don't fall for that. Item number three. As you are aware, Ghana has had about eight successful elections since um, uh, the 1992 constitution was rolled out. The Electoral Commission has a proven track record of successfully conducting elections. This EC has come under a barrage of criticisms from this particular candidate. But as we can all attest to, so far, the exercise of this election has generally, the part conducted by the EC, has generally been smooth. No candidate should, at this stage, get into this exercise of seeking to undermine the work of the EC. It is most irresponsible, and it would endanger the peace of this country. Now, another matter worth speaking to is the attack on the media. Again, if you listen to the candidate's commentary, and the commentary by, I think, the general secretary of his party immediately following afterwards. They are now attacking the Ghanaian media, that you are now in the business of churning out fake results. I'm sure you heard that, that you are now in the business of churning out fake results. Everybody knows that the media in Ghana, independent, experienced in observing elections at collation centers, does the simple exercise of bringing in the numbers and doing the analysis. And this election, let's commend the Ghanaian media. Many of you have invested in software that allows you to do interesting analysis, do comparisons, etc. You are beginning to notice, just like what the outgoing president of the US of A has been doing. Candidate Mahama is now suggesting that the numbers that the Ghanaian media are churning out and the coalition that the Ghanaian media is beginning to do, which you have done in previous elections, are false and are fake. And we think that, again, it is important to call it out this is not the first time that you see um, a candidate begin to um, make such allegations when they know something that uh, maybe the rest of uh, the population don't know. And that's why I cited the example of the US, where the US president, who is outgoing now, consistently been um, attacking the media as being fake news, enemies of the people, et cetera, et cetera. We're beginning to observe a bit of it here. And we think it's important not to let it slide, but to draw your um, attention uh, to this. Now, again, another claim is being introduced into the conversation, and it's important to draw the country's attention to it, that um, Mr. Mohammed's party says that it has won majority of the regions, and therefore it can extrapolate that it ought to win the presidential election. For the avoidance of doubt, 
we need to uh, remind everybody of what the rules of engagement are and what the facts are. The rules of engagement is in Article 63, Clause 3 of the Constitution 1992. And I'll read you just a little bit of it. It says, a person shall not be elected as the president of Ghana unless at the presidential election the number of votes cast in his favor is more than 50% of the total number of valid votes cast at the election. It has absolutely nothing to do with the regions that you claim or you purport to have won. The constitutional provision of who wins a presidential election is in Article 63, Clause 3. Please take time and read it and educate the Ghanaian public that if any candidate comes to tell you that he thinks that he has won a region which he thinks is big, therefore he should be the next president, or a collection of uh, 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 regions. Ghana's election is not an electoral college like what happens in the US. Ghana's election, in accordance with Article 63, Clause 3, is simple. You have to win 50% plus one of the votes for the presidential election. And so please, this misinformation or disinformation that is being introduced into the Ghanaian election as it goes on, is important that we call it out so that the general public does not fall for it and begin to correlate that, oh, therefore, if this person wins X number of regions, then he should be declared president. No, there's an exercise for doing that. And that exercise, we understand, is being done by the uh, Electoral Commission. In conclusion, the Electoral Commission has proven, I think, over the last eight elections, it has a capacity to do that which is doing. We want to urge the general Ghanaian population and all other stakeholders to remain calm to remain vigilant, yes, and to follow the EC's processes and the updates that the EC uh, will give us, and not be moved by um, comments now by a presidential candidate to do otherwise. And this is what we believe um, the government uh, ought to put out at this stage in the uh, election um, tonight. I'll do a quick summary in three, and then I will take um, your um, questions. If we were in church, I would say, and you are normally adorful. Um, and you may, you know, I said, when you're brain, not much, yeah, you are see. No, mom, your friend, waha, a in some baby, you know, me and Sabi. Me, if you are seeing me, you know, say, the entire mina, me, general, has a mini minister of information. But a bat way, me, so now, me, a candidate, Casa, me, can, and yet, parties, and a seminar maker, Ghana, buy, and a air, Casa, and a semi, so semi, and a mean, Casa, my Ghana, buy. The entire, you bring Ghana, buy, any, or my needing, come on, say, um, Presidential candidates ne bako yewra mahama baba bonti ya be central phone chi mbe ye don hri bako ni fa ana be don hri bako ni no ke kan sembi an sem no aban susu enye mpp party aban and dey am extreme ni say there's a difference between me as candidate and uh, me as minister of information for the republic gan aban susu say we say ye kan ho asembi or say ono ne party enye majority or parliament or say the supporters, in fear, see any money. And we are They all can so much in sing crum. And your money, you did they say, or my dinko nim. Or say, easy no, a catasumu was so as a sa election results no. Na soldier for crown poker hobby. Now, in Ghana, back or semo as handsome, we say, Sabi and Totuna say, and semo out to pay, and was say, you two and one more. Na say, na Ghana buying as he was handsome way home. The edic kind, sir. Presidential candidate be announce ye Ramahama, as any party a winning pa parliamentary majority a, but you are a mogo sabre. The entire a mogo ni say Ghana parliamentary elections. You were returning officers were two seventy five coalition centres. More central phone na more unkofu two seventy five coalition centres. Obi obedin kuni mbi ha mo ramba ho deuru anabe boa. Enti say sabre so obi a winning parliamentary majority one forty a. Senka ba na omo mo kain amaye ni na yati. Mumpa more 275. Obi the Otifi on the Uhu, but more 275 coalition centers. No. Mukrampo Muhu Yankai. Tis a candidate with Baba Kasa, Sinhu, a Mugu. A tossumi and Kasa Kwan or Deman a chita for Sir Muntin Sikrum, and ye did the new one, you know. Um, Sir Ukai, Peace Pacta, Nanuya, Omoko Sine, or Nek and Pinskiana, moving pick. Moving pick. Yera Mahama, Elman Penia Kufuado, the Chief Jazz of United Om Sabesh, and Essay. Sabre ya ye kwa kwa tuwa be ya nase abatu wa brisi. Eni ya mbebi ya haa. Wa chita hafu wa krampu e ya. Ebe tu midi o ye ni haba no. U krampu no wudu msa shekla ta asise. Ube tu wa mfuwa shema. O mati asa ya mama nye sadef. Nisee de ye ura mahama nana. Wanini mpeni mfuwa. E she 
omo chita fo kutu pa se omo nti insikum de ye den se omo kan ye so de wani hwe krum a obi an hye den ye kire ye boga na fo abaso ne mum e wo se ye bom kokko se se sa brei a ah, yisi mpenifuwa ke kwa mwenye mabu mno. So bi petu be katira wu. Candidate petu be katira wu se tisi kurum ye ye ya. Um, Emu wa yura mkakra isa an se. Ebe tu mi e detention akosro. Yeti ya se se campaigns mi yinu ne wuma na weyafre central for. Na weyafre central for. No ubi yaka nasem. Na se afi candidate nanka sabe kansa ano. Ana se inti nka weyo kaya nanka. Oma mpeni ya kufu wadu. Ana se ubi fufu roso candidate ni kasa kasa. E detention ebe kosro. Um, Ebi yo dia ya e ya wa hukra mponi se. Sa wu ya wu support e se na ebe ba no wadi nkugu a o makuma bete eno e ya de a ye 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 bokoko etwe em obi adwen e ba bejina so se o be kai a gana gana ya to ababe ye mpren wo twe since aye ba 1992 democratic dispensation yimu ec wa kire se onim na djuma ye parties to me ni ni asem ba wa kire se onim na djuma ye but se adjuma yi e ko so sabre ye do ni mpempem so yi na candidate and kasa e to to be money easy no suggest okay can say to say easy person dani figures no na soldier for crack ka ho ne ade no e ade e wose ye to din ye to mere kire si no obi e ho se enya sempa e wose obi a e die kire e bi o se se o kasa tia gania media se mo eh se se entro na moody figures na mo bobo na entro na moody eh god about o ye die ye kire ache media e mo na mo ba bia mutumi hwehwe mu na Mutumi ebe kaso ya ya kain wo polling station wo ya din kunim wo ya din kugo na mo akika bom afia we kra de mo to talk computers ni software ye hwe tree ni brofo a mudina gina ho na mo point to point to trochro wo so se se mo djuma na kon anim afa mo na ye wura mahama kire se de amu kan nya no kure ye pese obi ate ase se sa su ban we e ti se US man peni ye wura Trump obe din kugo no if you are saying that you are not fake, you are not fake, you are fake media, you are not fake media. 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 Commander in chief of the Ghana Armed Forces, the immediate past commander in chief of the Ghana Armed Forces. Ono na sabre or chin Ghana bamboo form anu awo form. Ono na sabre or ki kan semso mo na mo jina collation centers ebo ama yuem enya no kreba kukrada. Yenyi na yenyi mshishi yenyi mra eda election. Uko fa ballot boxa police for na soldier for oho oho who can say. Or Moody, the apotocas a friend, the minimum amount of force, and I said the requisite amount of force, a stopo. In this Obia Kofa ballot box, na Oma Bonitu, and now Obimo Air Taki Collation Center, Nasa Police Forney Soldier for a prevent him from getting there. And Mark Quinsa Obeka could not say a candidate, Nankasan Air Press Conference, a chain military, any bamboo for na bosso. A idea dangerous. A son said, Ye baby, I'm on the boy, Hobby. If you say a bomb, Coco, and some of the chat war. You are Mahama in a party, air can't seem to be said. Or more almost to say, or may we need regions by an umkai. Ten regions. Ain't he almost to say, or may we need ten regions? And was so moving a presidential. By the way, presidential, or moon to me, can one seem so far. Or more can't normally at it. But I must start introducing common say, almost to say, or may we need ten regions. Ain't he also moving a presidential. So what kind of Ghana Murakuni Constitution, Article 63, Clause 3? What kind of people say? So what person would you want to pay? Also, we need 50 percent plus one of presidential votes in your regions. Mr. Mugana election in your U.S. My friend said Electoral College. Then you can say region way cause say in the say you are not say David David. And the number of votes. In fact, I don't know how parliamentary votes. Who calculating in here? A we have TV network back. We must calculate the parliamentary votes. Abany na and most party projects say, Oman Peni party no MPP would have won about 53.8 percent of the parliamentary votes, even though parliamentary eight seats. But anu tina ushe no abu say parliamentary votes no. Ube hu say niya numbers no akweni. Mti so bibe katra u say o susu so we win regions ten in the young for presidency ni mana. Mr. Hussain said who anya no crack. And you know, Kreba Kokrada. Tell us, um, you to me, a Kahuasema will be a tenuasi. 
ye besre gana po nyina sene ya yedi ye huni dodo ona edi om huni no ye nkoso nyane saa isi be ya o majuma omu hwia de ombeka no e wose candidate bia titiru wa odun sakoshe krata we ase no e wose wudi su se o man papa